Are you struggling to find out where your money went? Well, check out this video for our seven money tips so we can help you find your money. My name is Carmen. And I'm Darius. And we help entrepreneurs and high achievers own their own lifestyle. So be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that notifications bell so that you're notified when we upload new videos. Another way we help you own your own lifestyle is through our Patreon page. Our Patreon page is where we share exclusive content about infinite banking that we share nowhere else. So after this video, make sure you hop over to our Patreon page and subscribe. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so at the end of the month, or shoot, even by the 15th, do you sometimes scratch your head and go, where did my money go? Yeah, I do. <laughs> so, so in this instance, by the end of this video, we want you to have an idea of where your money could possibly be going. Mm -hmm. So these seven money tips we hope will help you understand how to plug those holes so that you can keep more of your money for yourself. Yes. And leak number one is always, always budgeting. Mm -hmm. Or not budgeting. Not budgeting <laughs> is the problem. <laughs> yeah. Because how do you know where your money went if you're not even tracking where it should be going? Mm -hmm. So you definitely want to budget so you can dictate where your money should be going in the first place. Oh yeah, and, and budgeting doesn't have to be this like constraint strict process. Yes, there's apps for that. <laughs> <laughs> What I meant is <laughs> it, it doesn't have to be restrictive. It's more so you just having a plan as far as where your money is going mm -hmm. and you're not trying to restrict your spending. You just want to be able to allocate exactly where everything's going so it's organized. Yes, and one thing that we use is Mint.com and help us organize our uh, spending and our savings so that we know exactly every single month where our money is going and how we are in regards to our budget for the specific month. And this is not a sponsored video. We weren't paid to recommend Mint. We just personally use it for our finances and we find it helpful. So we hope that maybe you find it helpful too. But we are accepting sponsorship from Mint if you're out there. <laughs> <laughs> so leak number two is not being honest with yourself and others. Mm -hmm. <laughs> others meaning us, because we're financial coaches trying to help you. So what we find is a lot of times when people have budgets in place, they're not really honest with how everything's being allocated or mm -hmm. where their money is going in the first place. So it is imperative that you are honest with yourself and really understanding where your money problems lay in the first place. Mm -hmm. You know, are you eating out too much? Are you spending too much money on shopping and clothes or video games or whatever it is? You really need to be honest so that others who are helping you with your finances can help you navigate to the financial goals that you're trying to accomplish. Yeah, and even if you don't want to stop eating out every single day, mm -hmm. at least pick a few days during the week where you're going to stay home and actually go to the grocery store and cook because it's a lot cheaper to cook your own food than go out to restaurants for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Money leak number three is instant gratification. When we want things immediately and we don't necessarily have the funds that we can buy it outright ourselves, what we do is we overspend for it. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to credit card debt, credit cards provide us instant gratification so that we can immediately have what we want, but we can make small payments over time, which we end up spending more for what the product is than what it's worth. Yeah, because of all that interest. Yes. So a tip that we would recommend is sleep on it. If you find a product or service that you think you can't live without, sleep on it. <laughs> yes. Because nine times out of 10, what Darius and I have done is we sleep on it every single time. If we find a gadget that we really like, we just sleep on it. And by the time we wake up, we realize that- You know what, we don't even need it. Exactly. So <laughs> that is exactly what we talk about. Immediate gratification can get us into trouble and then make us go, oh, I needed that money for X, Y, and Z, but you spent it on a gadget. Money leak number four is investing ignorantly. Even Warren Buffett says don't invest in something if you don't understand what it is. So you have to make sure that you understand what's going on before you even invest your money. And we can totally attest to that because we dropped 20 grand on a real estate investing program on a credit card mm -hmm. and they told us that they were gonna teach us everything that we knew about real estate. And what did we do? We didn't end up doing a transaction with that real estate guru and we were out $20,000 that we had to figure out how to repay with all the interest that we put onto our credit card. Now, now tying into immediate gratification, right? So we dropped all that money and not even realizing that there are 
free resources within our county, within our city that we could have utilized to help us get the education that we needed to understand mm -hmm. how to invest in real estate. So definitely check out your, if you're thinking about investing in real estate, don't drop all the money on that real estate guru program because you can use that money to invest in real estate. Right. Go to your local city's real estate office and find out when the networking events are. Yes, and the larger one is the Real Estate Investing Association. When you go to these events, they usually have a ton of vendors where you can find every single thing that you need to learn about the real estate environment in your local area. And additionally, not even just with real estate, we're talking about investing in general. So if you're working with a financial planner and they're teaching you about investing in mutual funds and stocks and bonds and all sorts of stuff, you need to make sure that you understand all of the intricacies of what's going on mm -hmm. because otherwise you could be losing money or gaining money and you don't even know what's going on. And to be honest, that even pertains to infinite banking. A lot of people want to get involved with infinite banking and hadn't even read Nelson Nash's book. Mm -hmm. So really take these things into consideration when you're talking about investing in something that you have no clue what you're investing in. Mm -hmm. Money leak number five is cable. Cable over time has become so expensive and one way to cut the cable cord is to subscribe to Netflix, Hulu, or watch YouTube. Now again, we aren't promoting any of these companies. But we would if you offered. <laughs> we, we just want to help you save a few dollars. And we saved a significant amount of money by switching from cable to uh, apps like Hulu and Netflix and Sling, and we cut everything drastically in half. I mean, the most that we were paying for cable at one time was 20 bucks a month, mm -hmm. and that was with three different apps. So that's significant amount of money that you can cut, that you can keep more in your pocket. Yes, and there's this thing called reading a book that is a lot cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> and I was going to say these days we end up being so busy that half the time we're not even watching our TVs to begin with. Right. If you fall into that category then you may want to check out looking into other options so that you're not spending so much on a monthly basis. Yeah and if you're watching this video you probably already cut the cable because you're watching YouTube. <laughs> True. <laughs> Money leak number six is bank fees. How much are you spending on a monthly basis just by having a checkings or savings account? Mm -hmm. These days, a lot of banks charge monthly fees just for you to maintain those accounts if you don't meet a certain threshold. Right. So what we recommend is exploring a whole bunch of different options so that you don't have to pay those monthly fees if you don't meet that threshold because nowadays banks are getting smarter and not charging you for those monthly fees. So you just need to make sure that you do your due diligence to find out those banks and cut those monthly fees. because. If you're spending anywhere between ten and twenty dollars a month just to maintain the account, that adds up on an annual basis. And we're not even talking about overdraft fees. So make sure that if overdraft is something that's killing you, make sure you have that overdraft protection on so that you're not being charged the monthly fee to maintain the account and overdraft fees. Right, and overdraft is a symptom of not doing money leak number one, which is not having a budget. Mm -hmm. So really take some of these things into consideration when you worry about where your money went at the end of the month mm -hmm. it's all connected yes money leak number seven subscriptions now we're in the second quarter of the year and the new year's resolution of going to the gym has long but faded but your gym membership is still there charging you every single month mm -hmm. now you can get rid of this membership and do a go to cheaper route of maybe getting a yoga mat putting on some YouTube and doing yoga at home so that you can get into the habit. And then when you have that habit, then you start going to the gym. Mm -hmm. Kind of goes with the immediate gratification yes. piece of it too, yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so those are our seven money leak tips. We hope that this information was helpful for you and that maybe you too found that maybe some of your money is leaking in some of those categories that we talked about. Yes, the money leak number one is the most important, which is the budget. That's the only way you'll be able to identify where your money is going on a monthly basis and see exactly how your money is leaking right out of your pockets <laughs> onto the ground or somewhere else. If you enjoyed this video but still having some trouble identifying your money leaks, then I highly recommend you check out our Money Blueprint course where we teach you how to have a solid foundation when it comes to your finances so that you can become a strong infinite banker. So you all know what time it is. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already and hit the notifications bell so that you're notified when we upload new videos. And remember, own your own lifestyle or the leaking will continue.